took a land, the earth underfoot constantly shifted, sometimes transforming the landscape almost overnight. The entire course of the river could change dramatically, and you would end up having to rebuild your roads and your homes uh, in the, the lifetime of an ordinary house cat. There was no common sense to the way things operated in their universe, a very, very chaotic universe. One example of that chaos can be found in the remains of an ancient city called Mashkan Shapir, located in present-day Iraq. Some historians have even speculated that what happened to Mashkan Shapir inspired the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, and it's not hard to see why. Something unusual happened in Meshkan Shapir. Something so unusual that the city was never rebuilt, inhabited again. Like Sodom and Gomorrah, Meshkan Shapir seems to have ended its life in a rain of fire. Meshkan Shapir was a city that was built mostly out of mud brick, which really is not very flammable. And yet we find a tremendous conflagration that consumed at least one-third of the city, burned animals to the bones. Today, we know something about Mashkan Shapir that the ancients couldn't have known, and it may explain what happened. Mashkan Shapir, like almost any other city built in the Tigris-Euphrates region 4,000 years ago, was over pools of natural gas and oil. And it's the natural gas that's a problem. If you get the right kind of earthquake, it's going to expand, and it's going to come jetting out of the ground just like a volcanic eruption, just like literally a gusher of natural gas. It's a lethal combination, gas followed by oil under pressure. All it needs is a spark from a cooking hut. The, the effect will be like a giant fuel air bomb detonating over and around and in the city. And we you know from just looking at the Kuwait fires how frightening that can be. I mean, the smoke is black. It blocks out the sun. It blocks out the stars. It's raining soot everywhere. You just see these huge, bright flames shooting into the sky, out of the ground, in the middle of the city. A tremendous waterfall of fire lighting up the night. A city destroyed by something no one could explain except with words like fire and brimstone. And the question is, could something similar have happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? It's certainly possible. Not only does the area around the Dead Sea have oil and gas deposits deep underground, but tar and sulfur also exist closer to the surface. And sulfur was what the ancients called brimstone. Oil, gas, tar, sulfur, in an area prone to earthquakes. The people of Sodom and Gomorrah, or Babadra, might have been sitting on a time bomb. And if what happened to Mashkan Shapir happened here, it probably started with a tremor. Well, the, the first thing usually is, is a movement which is more sort of uh, up and down. And then everything starts swaying. And it can sway for a minute, maybe sometimes a very happy earthquakes as much as one and a half minutes or so on. For most people involved in it, it feels like an eternity, obviously. The earthquake opens up pockets of natural gas, while tar and sulfur deposits bubble to the surface. 
if the people at that time uh, were preparing food or anything like that, you only need one fireplace and there's gas coming across it and it would have very significant effect. In fact, what you'd have is a spectacular Bronze Age disaster. When the gas ignites, oil, tar, and sulfur deposits are set ablaze. Fire cascades over the town. Anyone in the area would have been incinerated. Nu cred, cred că deschide doar, part, doar cardul ăla, știi? Nu deschide și memoria telefonului. But at Babadra, proposed by some as the site of Sodom, there's little evidence of such a dramatic destruction by fire. Instead, the town seems to have fallen victim to an invading army that tried to enter through the western gate. Right in the center 